These pictures tell the story. Since November, there have been 19 state police cruisers struck, an increase of 300 percent compared to data compiled over the past 10 years. While the situations have been different, the colonel for the state police thinks there is a common denominator. We believe the pace of life and the distraction has increased today to the point where we are seeing the unintended consequences of it. People are not focusing on the road. Fortunately, no troopers have been seriously injured. That includes Trooper Eric Shirley, who has been struck three times in the past three years. And he says that's only half the story. Probably 15 or 20 times in the last five or six years, people have missed me by less than a couple of feet. I've had uh, one instance when I had to jump over the hood of my car to avoid a, uh, a, 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 an older lady that might have hit me if I hadn't done that. The accidents have have also been expensive. Five cruisers have been totaled at a cost of nearly $200,000. And while it hasn't impacted public safety yet, the colonel says they can't absorb any more hits. And these accidents mean troopers aren't out on the road. There's a lot of time in switching cars, getting cars relayed, towing cars. So those hours where that trooper could be out on the road patrolling. State police and other first responders say many of these accidents could be avoided if motorists would just slow down and move over when they see flashing lights, something the law requires. There have also been 12 Everyone, incidents involving like fire trucks. Two items. The message from the DOT uh, is simple. Uh, if possible, uh, if folks can avoid travel during the storm, that is a, that's a huge help to our crews that are out there. State Senator Lou D'Alessandro says legislators are looking at increasing the fines for failure to move over or slow down, but that's for the future. For now, state police are simply asking the public to slow down and move over when they see those flashing lights. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.